from RTO. Um, I keep doing it. I'm going to have to put a reminder on my thing. Please turn the volume down on the speakers. Um, welcome to album artwork ranking. Uh, today we've got a, a really legendary band from America who have put out some of the nicest and most artful um, artwork. We're talking about Journey. Um, yeah, we are doing a ranking of Journey at some stage, um, but with all your requests, they're sort of on the back burner at the moment. But they are there t to be looked at. I mean, I've listened to a couple of the albums, so I'm sort of starting to put together the ranking. But I thought there's a little taste out we would look at their um, album covers to get us in the mood. Um, so I've got 29 for you, so let's have a look at these. So coming in at number 29, we go to 2011 for Journeys, Greatest Hits 1 and 2. This is just cop out, get a black ground, splash the name on it and just put the other two album covers next to each other. Yeah, very, very in inventive there. Great work there from the art designer, really put your Heart and soul of that one. <laughs> okay, coming in at number 28, they're going to 1977. And next, Journey. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at that afro. Look at that haircuts and the moustaches. Very 70s, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So coming in at number 27 is a different contrast. It's uh, now a Japanese release I found, and I had to put this in, called Starbox from 1988. Ah, oh, <laughs> they've gone from who, Peter? Very 80s. Then you just like Mr. Perry's hair in his little shirt. Excellent. <laughs> oh dear, what a contrast. The golden age of the disco-y, hippie type thing to, yeah, slick 80s. <laughs> okay, number 26 then, another Japanese release. Uh, the journey continues. The lo their famous logo. I don't mind that logo. Um, all that reminds me of uh, Japanese releases. Always down on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. You have to have like the the Japanese thing, and it sort of spoils their covers a little bit. There must be another way they can do it. If they're going to do that, put it on the outside on a bit of cellophane. <laughs> okay, then coming in at number twenty-five, we have a live album uh, called "Live in Houston Escape Tour" from nineteen eighty-one, released in two thousand and five. Again, not very imagination. Let's just put the usual stuff on there and put the album cover on. Good work again. Good work. Not. Um, could have put a live picture, you know, a bit of action, but no, let's just make it boring. Okay, then coming in at number 24, we have a compilation album called Greatest Open Arms Greatest Hits from 2004. Okay, it's very plain, but I like how the letters are, and I like how the, the logo is quite effective. Not bad at all. Very pleasant to the eye. Nothing wrong with that one. Okay, then, coming in at number 23. Another live album. It is Escape and Frontiers, live in Japan, 2019. Um... What spoils it? Where they put Journey. And it looks like it's come straight off of a cartoon Marvel sort of cover. Why cover up the blooming logo? Could I put it somewhere else? Or I don't know. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Best bit of the, the logo and you cover it up. Nice work. Okay, coming in at number 22. Um, we got the Essential Journey, another compilation from 2001. Pretty cool. Like that one a lot. They're all good in from now. You know, each band does have a stinker. Although they're not stinkers, I just some of them are. You know, I just don't know what they've done to them. 
that's pretty cool I like that blue it's really stunning okay coming in at number 21 then we get a 1978 and the infinity album very colorful okay the number the name goes across the middle bit but it's there you can see what's going on not but not I do like that design very good okay coming in at number 20 I think it's the greatest hits from 1988 that everyone's got including myself uh, I, I like the idea of it but I think it, because of that background I think it, 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 everything else doesn't stand out but it's still a good cover um, coming in at number 19 we go to 1979 to their very first compilation album called In the Beginning again that sort of logo it's pretty cool I like that I like that album cover then we come to number 18 uh, Trial by Fire 1996 this is hoopy what's going on there <laughs> yeah See that I like the palm tree. That's actually a looks like a pet falcon or an eagle of some sort. It's a bit hoopy and weird, but uh, it's different. See, they've even got this uh, logo on the on the jug on the bottom. Pretty good. I mean, okay, coming number seventeen, we have a lot of box tap time third from nineteen ninety two. I like that. It's a good cover. It's got the the insect type thing and it's in the shape of a spaceship which looks pretty cool okay coming in at number 16 we have the greatest hits 2 from 2011 now I prefer that but that blue background it looks a bit better it's still a good concept and a good album cover but I think the blue looks better than the red okay coming in at number 15 we go to 2008 and the revelation album I love that version of the logo it looks really good the, all the colors are all look nice very very good okay coming in at number 14 we go to the year 2000 and the arrival album that is pretty nice colors everything stands out pretty good album cover okay let me go to 1976 for number 13 look into the future I like the idea of that. I like the like the room going back. I like the band in their silhouettes and the crystal ball type thing. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, and coming in at number twelve, we go to nineteen seventy nine and the Evolution album. Very similar to the in the beginning, but the journey is at the top and not down the middle. Pretty good cover. Coming in at number eleven, then we go to nineteen eighty for the Departure album pretty good cover that is the insect type thing in full flight here um, got the earth with its little legendary squiggle around it and I do like that one okay coming in at number 10 it's the iconic escape I do like that cover it is pretty impressive I love the colors and I love the the little flying saucer type thing of the insect body pretty cool okay coming number nine we're going to 1986 it's one that doesn't feature the proper logo it's called raised on radio i just like that i like the idea of the little radio station type thing pretty cool coming number eight we get to 2011 then this is their most current album eclipse again a logo in a different formation with the insect spaceship type thing pretty cool okay number seven one that just doesn't feature the infamous logo it's from 1983 frontiers weird and robotic type thing okay then so coming number six we go back to where it all started the debut album 1975 journey I think that's quite hoopy members of the band just floating away all over the place pretty cool then we come to 1998 for number five and it's the greatest hits live 
That's quite good. I like that. Got the earth and the squirrel on there. So you know it's, a, it's something to do with Journey without the name Journey being on it. And I like the chair. It's the wings. I, I think that's very clever. There's no, no words on it, but you know it's a Journey album by little pictures on there. Okay, when we come up to number four and we come to another compilation, stop, don't stop believing the best of Journey. Got the insect with the wings out and the earth. It's always pretty cool to look. Blend blow, I like how they've done it. Okay, number three, we go to Capture from 1981 love that that's an absolutely belting I just like how it you get the it's the same picture like a Russian gold sort of that thing excellent excellent cover okay coming in number two this is a compilation album called The Ballad from 1991 um, well I don't know how many of you know but I'm really into my Egyptology so that was always going to be up near the top I just love that. I just love hieroglyphics. I love what it's funny. You've got all the Egyptian hieroglyphics and then someone's put JRMY in there. <laughs> Absolutely belting cover. So my number one favourite cover of my, the Journey albums is from 2005. Generations. I just love that. It's just the emblem, the logo that's stunning. You know, I could have. I, if I put, I've actually put that out on a, taken out the background and just got that just to see what it was like, and it looks stunning. And I've put it on a back, black background, and I am thinking of just popping it in a little frame, and having it hanging up somewhere because I do like that version of the logo. Okay, that's just a quick look at the album covers of Journey. Um, don't forget tonight, eight p.m. We are live. No recordings. It's live, so anything can happen, and it always does. Going back to go back to Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Uh, Dave's going to be here on the uh, texting. Um, so if you want to have a chat with Dave, he's quite happy for you to chat away with him while I'm gabbling on. Um, so I'll see you all for that later if not we'll be back tomorrow Friday again can't believe it so Friday means one thing it's live music and tomorrow we have got the big man himself Fish um, it's sort of most of the uh, live catalogue but there are some repeats that I haven't got so it's basically my collection um, still got quite a few but uh, we're doing that and then tomorrow we've got a brand new album review and we're looking at the new album from Tears for Fears The Tipping Point just to let you know well in advance next week we're looking at the new Ghost album I'm listening to it at the moment I finally got round to listen to it with everything else going on so that's the next couple of weeks we've got a couple of brand new albums to look at so if you don't join us tonight on the live should stream don't forget it's a pot it'll be up on the channel anyway so you can have a look see what we're doing if not i will see you all tomorrow have a great day